<laughs> ah, man, the old caveman on logo noise used to be a lot dumber. Let's see. This script contains swearing and other family unfriendly images. Would you be okay with seeing that? Yeah. Swearing activated. Friday evening on a college campus. Feels like a setup for some kind of movie. If only my life could be one of the cool genres. She said she found something neat to watch and was pretty excited about it too. We plan on watching what she found and maybe ordering some takeout and it's not like I can go to my dorm. Fucking fumigation, man. It's not like the rats caused any serious damage. At least the professor loaned me the lecture hall while the dorms are being de-ratted. Poor rats. Still, got a place to chill. Man, this place looks different at night though. Almost surreal. Glancing at my watch, it's about five minutes before she gets here. She's always punctual with this kind of stuff. Even back in elementary school, she had perfect attendance. Time for one last check to make sure everything's ready. Projector's working, seats are properly cushioned, screen is in place. I can't help but feel I'm forgetting something. Snacks, maybe? I peek inside my wallet, just to make sure. Just a quarter and a European quid. Oh, who am I kidding? I'd be lucky to get one of those tiny bags of chips. I make a quick trip to the snack machines in the hall, and load up my bag with nearly all of its contents. Gotta love that exchange rate. Oh, as I make my way back, I notice Dory by the door. It's a scene I'm used to seeing. Phone pressed to her head. Pacing back and forth. Okay, it's kind of a cute character design. Like, I could see owning a toy of this thing. Near audible shouting from the phone. And her own distressed voice failing. It seems like she's arguing with her roommate again. I already promised to hang out with someone else. No, I don't mean... Look, sorry. No, please don't... Ugh. Yeah, yeah. I'll think about it. Thanks. She pockets her phone and turns to finally see me. Oh, crap. Sorry, Andrew. You didn't hear very much of that, right? Er, no? Her shoulders relax and she lets out a sigh. Was that anything important? It sounded serious. Ha, huh, no, nothing serious. Ask what's on her mind. Ask about the movie she brought. Uh, I'm gonna try and do the wrong things first. Ask what's on her mind. I've never seen you this tense. What are you not telling me? We're friends, right? Ugh, I don't want to hear that line anymore today. Please, let's just drop the subject. I don't really appreciate... Andrew, I'm not talking about this with you. She lets out another sigh. Sorry, let's just drop it. Okay. I found this neat movie. Figured you'd like it. So the main character is like some kind of copper robot, and the girl is a slug. This was basically a test game that they made before doing Snoot Game. The classroom projector eats the disc and starts humming. I turn the lights down, making sure the volume is at a good level, and I take my seat next to Dory on the makeshift couch. It's a bit cold, isn't it, Andrew? It's like room temp. Andrew then realized he is profoundly fucking ret Actually, it's a bit cold. I pull out the blanket Dory brought from under me and drape it over us. Dory leans into my shoulder. Her antenna things brush lightly against the side of my head, creating a tingling static in my ear. The setup is the stuff dreams are made of. I hope the movie is good. Uh, 90 minutes later, the credits emerge from the bottom of the screen. So, what'd you think? Her tone carries some sense of expectation. The movie, it, uh, give an honest review. You watch movies for the experience. Now let's give an honest review. Let me find the words. Oh god, he looks like witty. Both of these characters look like Friday Night Funkin' mods. Let me find the words. That was quite possibly the worst shit I've ever seen. This went in and out of my mind just like that. It felt like I had just taken a nap on a highway and a car ran me over once every three seconds and then I just woke up. It feels like I drank 50 liters of pure ethanol and I'm experiencing the godmother of all hangovers. I can't remember shit from any of this, just the character design. From the deepest darks of the deep darks and characters that have the same charm as someone shitting on sandpaper and rubbing it into your brand new sports car. The only thing I can vaguely remember is that a schoolgirl got horny over some wings and blood mechas, nothing else. What were they thinking? 
I'm tempted to watch it again, write an entire novel about how bad it is, and then blow my fucking brains out. This is the worst shit I've ever seen. I bite my tongue and wait to see if Dory felt in any way similar about that disgrace of an anime. Well, jeez, tell me how you really feel, why don't you? Thought it would have been fun, and I thought you were. Why don't you pick the movie next time if your taste is so refined? Er, come on, you know I don't mean it like that. Alright, I'll make it up to you. I brought some stuff for sandwiches along with all those snacks. Hmm, fine. I'll forgive you. I saw this one recipe online I wanted to try. I think it had mustard and pepperoni and... I nod, hiding the fact that I'm trying to break the disc of the god-awful anime behind my back. This was worse than Reddit's recommended anime list. God, Dory's first exposure to anime and it was that trash fire? Man, this is looking nice. Today was sandwich day in the cafeteria too, right? Man, I can't believe I missed sandwich day. You didn't eat lunch today? She hesitates. Just had something to do. Didn't turn out so well. Had to skip to catch up on work? I wish... No, I don't. <laughs> she scans the pile and plucks out the pickle jar. My roommate wanted me to plant some drugs or something in her ex's locker. Whoa. Yeah, I mean, he probably deserved it. That's what she told me anyways. I pause while she fights the jar. I'd placed my money on the jar winning. But I got caught by the campus police and we both got in trouble. That's insane. She made you do that? Made is a strong word, but I figured she'd know better than me about it. But that's uh, what she's mad at me about right now. Uh, she hands the jar to me. Can you get this for me? I think I got it a bit loose. Huh? Oh, sure. Open jar. With a simple twist, I remove the lid from the jar of pickles. Ta-da! One order of super vinegary pickles. Thanks. Got any more jars that are stuck? Wait a minute, she's a slug! She can't eat anything with salt in it! <laughs> got any more jars that are stuck? No, that's it. You sure? Yes, Andrew. Just that one jar. Absolutely positive? Yes. By now our meals are more or less finished as we dig in. What did you make? A plain old club sandwich. Uh, you? We both glance at the glob between two bread pieces she's just made. I don't know. It's good, though. She holds it over, offering a bite. I'll take your word for it. We share our meal, making small talk and sipping soft drinks for a while. And I like the part where they... Huh, what did happen around then? I don't remember. I don't either. Weird. Oh, that's the actual caveman on theme. Dory checks her phone, and her face goes a bit paler than usual. I, uh, gotta take this. Yeah, sure. She flashes an apologetic smile and steps away, putting the phone to her ear. I try not to eavesdrop and focus on finishing my food, but I can hear the yelling through the speaker from here. Right now, make it up to... I told you I'm with someone else right now. So that's how you... All this time... No, come on, I don't... Need you. You know that barkeep, right? Just come along. Be fine. You promised after last time that I didn't have to go anymore. Okay, sorry. Yeah. I'll be there soon. She hangs up and glumly approaches. Uh, hey, I... I heard. Is it something serious? Dory scoffs and glowers to the side. Hardly. She wants me to be her wing woman at some bar. That doesn't... I had to cover the bill last time. And find a ride home by myself. And she ruined one of my favorite dresses. Each word is punctuated with her stuffing something roughly into her backpack. Even some of the snacks. Then don't go. Dory pauses, her frown marring her pretty face. Your roommate's a colossal bitch, Dory. She's clearly put you through this bullshit before and probably isn't going to stop soon. So how about for once you put her through some? Stay here, with me. She pauses a moment. I can see the gears turning in her head. Her slight scowl tells me that none of them are good. Stay with you? Uh, yeah? She takes a deep breath, collecting her thoughts. Andrew, I've known you for a long time, but tonight has just been... Ugh. Trying to insert yourself into my private life? 
Saying to my face you thought the movie I thought we'd have fun watching was terrible? That ego of yours. You just have to rub every advantage you have in. And you seriously think I'd rather hang out here? With you? I mean, look at your alternatives. Smack! Holy shit, she smacked him so hard his head turned into a globe. <laughs> You're no different than the guy my roommate used to go out with. I think I get her point of view a bit better now. Her phone starts buzzing yet again. She picks up halfway into the second buzz. Yeah? There isn't yelling coming through the other end this time. Yeah, I know. Sorry. You were right. I'll be there soon. Leaving now. Yeah, I know. You were right. He wasn't worth it. Okay, I can pay again this time. Okay, bye. She grimaces at me one more time. And with a loud slam of the door, she's gone. I touch the mark on my face she left. Still stings. Maybe the sluggish one after all was me. Did the bad endings in each one of these come with a pun? Alright, that's, that's the bad ending. And I learned in the comments, uh, somebody told me, let me look up what their name is. Yeah, uh, this person named Lalix7190, uh, told me on my She Likes You A Lotl video that, uh, there's apparently a third route that I haven't been seeing. Alright, let's try to make the correct choices this time. Then don't go. Dory pauses, her frown marring her pretty face. Your roommate's a colossal bitch, Dory. She clearly put you through this bullshit before, and probably isn't gonna stop soon. So how about for once you put her through some? Stay here. With me. She pauses in the middle of packing her bag. I... I don't know. I do want to stay a while longer, but... I promised my roommate to go with her tonight. I thought you didn't like doing that stuff with her. I don't. Why not tell her that? She considers it for a moment. I never really thought to, I guess. Maybe now's the best chance to... Hey, Dory. Her phone again. She hesitantly answers. There's no yelling coming through, so I can't hear the other end. Yes? I already said I was coming. She glances at me. Actually, I wanted to talk about some stuff. Yeah, okay. See you. She puts her phone away and starts backing away to the door. Thanks for the advice, Andrew. I'll go talk to her about it. Sorry about having to leave early. Maybe next time? Wait, Dory. I wanted to... Next time, Andrew, I promise. You should pick the movie, too. This was fun, but I really need to be going. Dory, I... Later, Andrew. The door's already shut. Looks like I blew it. Me and my big mouth. Things were looking so well, too. But... Dory said next time. Next time for sure. I'll really tell her how I feel. And also pick something actually worth watching. But I'll tell her for sure. So, uh, I'm gonna ask about the movie she brought. You said you found a cool movie, right? Oh, well, I was walking around the neighborhood when I saw Vela. Vela? Having a garage sale of some sort. Okay, somebody on the Caveman on team is a fan of Yeek, and I don't know who, but it's obvious. Uh-oh. And she had this for sale for only $2. She yanks a small CD case from her bag and hands it to me. Eska what now? Yeah, I remembered you were really into this sort of thing, so I thought it would be a nice gesture. Wow, that's real nice of you. Let's go ahead and pop it in. The classroom projector eats the disc and starts humming. I turn the lights down, make sure the volume is at a good level, and take my seat next to Dory on the makeshift couch. Okay, it's a bit cold. They get a blanket. Slug boobs. Okay, what did you think? You watch movies for the experience. The art design was certainly unique. Left Unsaid was the nightmare-inducing character designs. Good lord, what the fuck was wrong with their faces and their eyes? Okay, this has to be self-aware, right? Because he looks like he stared into the abyss so long that it stared back into him, and... I mean, she's got like four eyes? And I'm not sure which one she's actually seeing out of. I repress the involuntary shudder. I can see why you like this stuff. Er, yeah. I liked it. I bite back my scream. So, wanna go another round? 
I mean, how about some food? I got some snacks from the vending machine. I upended my backpack, spilling three-fourths of a vending machine worth of snacks before us. Uh, is it all junk food? I prefer to call it bachelor meals. <sighs> At least you brought stuff for sandwiches, too. She reaches into the pile and pulls out some jars and Tupperware. Her roommate made her plant drugs in her ex's locker. Her roommate's ex's locker. They both got in trouble for it, and now her roommate is mad at her, even though it was her roommate's idea. Okay, we're not going to open the jar, we're just going to loosen the lid for her. I pretend to exert an extreme amount of torque as I slowly twist the lid. I sigh in false surrender as I hand Dory back the partially open jar. Ugh, it's on way too tight. Really? Dory nearly spills all the pickles on her dress when the lid pops off in her hand. Ah, I got it! Oh yeah, looks like you didn't need my help after all. She proudly starts forking pickles onto her increasingly chaotic sandwich. Wait a second. You could have just opened it. What? I didn't do anything. You saw. That was all you. She tosses a pickle at my shirt. You dork. Dory's roommate calls, wants her to be her wing woman at a bar, even though Dory fucking hates that. Last time she had to find a ride home by herself and cover the bill and her dress got ruined. So how about for once you put her through some? Stay here. With me. It's fun watching her blush. As her cheeks warm, they become a soft pinkish purple. Stay? With you? I nod. My fingers wrap gently around her hand, lowering it and her backpack back to the floor. Yeah, stay with me. Andrew. Her fingers intermingle with mine. The feeling of our palms pressing together, sending a current of static up my arms, lighting a spark in my chest. I, uh, is this... I simply smile and nod again. Her face is now near completely pinkish purple. Magenta? Lavender, maybe. Her eyes dart all over the room as she sputters an inconceivable mess. Even to the phone that's buzzing loudly in her chair. I, uh, that is, I mean, blah? I have to fight back my snickers. Everything about her is too cute. Even her overreactions. I lost against the snickers. Which gets a new reaction out of Dory. Andrew... She has the sweetest pout on her lilac, maybe, face. Her free hand starts slapping at my chest. Each slap echoes off my metal chest, each thump reciprocated by my heart's beat. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Finally, her slapping stops. She bares her face against my chest, hiding it from view and muffling her voice. It's not funny. It was kind of funny. No. Her face is so close when she looks up. Dory. Her eyes shimmer and her voice is a tiny whimper. I'll stay. It feels like the world is muted. Her head is slowly moving closer. Her eyes begin to close. Aww. They kiss. I do not want to play again. I have seen all there is to see with this one. So I got the endings in a weird order. And I'm going to be cutting all of the different clips together into a worst ending, middle ending, good ending format, because I feel like that's the best way to experience the narrative of this game.